Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're going through the Song of Moses today, verses 17 and 18. Uh, they've crossed the Red Sea. God has triumphed, and that was chapter 14. And here in 15, it all comes again in, in a song form as they're standing on the other side. Let's read now verses 17 and 18. That's all we have time for today. You will bring them and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, the place, O Lord, which you have made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. So it says here he's going to bring them, he is going to plant them, and he's taking them to his sanctuary. There's a lot of echo from other verses we've looked at in here. Well, God is bringing them. And again, we've said this morning by morning as we've looked at this song, this idea has recurred before and is continuing to recur. God is bringing people. Christianity is not a stationary thing, you know, like, okay, I'm a Christian. Where's the easy chair I'm supposed to sink into and, and just be a blob there and, and until, until God comes and gets me? No, <laughs> no. Christianity means activity. It means you're going from location A to location B. He's not only going to bring but he's going to plant them. You know, when I do a little bit of gardening in my home, and I don't claim to be any master gardener or anything, but guess what? Some things you go and you buy your plants, and I like to grow from seed, but sometimes you grow and you bring and you get plants, you bring them in their pots or in their little bins, and uh, if you just left them in the bin, soon it would die, fall over and die because you've got to, it's got to grow and you've got to actually plant it in the ground and put some effort into it. God is going to bring his people and he's going to plant them. He's going to help them to prosper. He's going to help them to come up spiritually. He's going to help them to grow and mature in holiness. God wants you and I to mature in holiness. You and I, we look at each other and we kind of say, yeah, well, we could roll our eyes right now because I'm not where I should be. I'm not where I aspire to be in spirituality. And I'm not, nor are you, perhaps. But we want to keep growing. Let God keep watering us. Let him keep planting us. Let him keep bringing us up. And as they came out of Egypt, there was a lot of growth that still needed to happen, lots of growth. And so God is bringing them on the way. But they've crossed the Red Sea now, and they're not done. They can look out from where they've come, but there's also where they're supposed to go. You and I, we can look back to where we've come, but remember, God is taking us onward. And it says onward, it talks about his sanctuary. The place, O Lord, which you have made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. God wants to be with his people, the sanctuary, the tabernacle, the temples, what ultimately there, and then all representing the heavenly sanctuary. God is taking his people and he wants to be with them. The sin problem needs to be addressed. He's going to remove and eradicate and eliminate sin from his people. They have to cooperate you can't hold on tight. You can't do it. You've got to let it go. But God is bringing his people into sanctuary. He's bringing you and I today into sanctuary. We want to follow along and let him remove the sin. We want to allow him to take it away and give us atonement at one moment. Help us to be in harmony with him. Let him cover our sins. Let him give us of his character. Give us of the robe of his righteousness and be transformed. And so God isn't just bringing his people because, hey, let's go on a, let's go on a little a travel journey here. Let's go through and we're going to do the desert now. Shh. No, that's not it. God is bringing his people with purpose. He's bringing them to a certain location. He's bringing them to a certain place that he has designated. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. He has a plan and he's bringing us along. Are we willing? Are we just going to straggle and and hang around near the back edges and, and, and miss the good stuff that he wants to do. I hope not. So let's let him continue to bring us toward his, his sanctuary. We'll say more about that, especially in the latter half of the book. I'll see you tomorrow morning.